Hello, good day everyone. I'm Tebs. Welcome back to this channel. This next repair is a Samsung 32 inch LED TV. Model UA32J4100AR. Not turning on and the red light indicator is flashing. I'll show you how to fix it. If you like electronics and want to learn how to repair TVs and other electronic gadgets, you came to the right channel. So please don't forget to like share and subscribe. You can also ring the notification bell to keep you updated. So let's get started. Tips sa pamumuhunan. Pati na rin ang mga oportunidad at kaalaman sa ilang aspeto ng pagninegosyo tulad ng customer service at sales. Susunod ang sabi mo sa mga prank na content creator para ma-upload na video. The TV is not turning on so let's measure the voltages on the power supply. The power supply has only an output of 13 volts, and no standby supply. So let's measure whether the 13 volt supply is sufficient or not. The voltage is 12.8 volts. It is very close to 13 volts so it is good. I think there is no problem with the power supply so let's go to the main board and measure the voltages. The flashing red light indicator is usually the standby 3.3 volts is not stable or fluctuating. We can measure the standby 3.3 volts to the VCC of the EEPROM which is pin 8 and 7. The voltage is 3.3 volts and it is stable. So we don't have any problem with the standby 3.3 volts supply. Let's measure the DC to DC buck converter voltages. This buck converter voltage is 5.1 volts. This buck converter is 1.2 volts. And this back converter fluctuates from about 5 volts down to 1.5 volts. Looks like the system is trying to turn on but it is failing. Seems all voltages are correct. Let's see if there's any shorted capacitor or a rail line that is causing the main board to not continue to turn on. The multimeter is set to continuity mode. If both terminals of a capacitor beeps, is a possible shorted circuit rail line.
No short circuits were found. All voltages seem okay, and no traces of a short circuit rail line. There is another reason for this problem, that maybe the EEPROM program is corrupted. So let's remove the EEPROM memory and try to reprogram it. This is my SPI EEPROM programmer. Let's solder the EEPROM and reprogram it. The soldering is done so let's insert now the programmer into the USB port and start reprogram the EEPROM. Using CH341A software. The programming is complete. Now let's remove the EEPROM and solder back into the main board.
the EEPROM is soldered completely. Let's try now and see if the EEPROM program is successful. The red light indicator still flashing. The reprogramming of the EEPROM does not solve the problem. Six months later. <laughs> I just found the problem. This MOSFET drain voltage is 4.0 volts only. I don't encounter 4.0 volts used in circuit applications. The voltage of the source is 5.0 volts. These are the pins of this MOSFET. Pins 1, 2, 5, and 6 are the drain. Pin 4 is the source, and pin 3 is the gate. It's a P-channel MOSFET. This MOSFET is used for turning on and off the 5 volt supply. Let's try to connect the gate and the source. As you hear the TV is turning on. This MOSFET is defective or leaky. Let's test the MOSFET. The multimeter is set to diode mode. The voltage is 0.56 volts. Reversing the test probe and the voltage is 0.9 volts, the MOSFET is leaky. I have a Samsung mainboard but a different model, but it has a MOSFET similar to the board we are working on. Let's remove the leaky MOSFET and replace the good MOSFET that came from the other main board. Before we solder the MOSFET, let's apply a flux. The PCB board bubbles. This will occur when the temperature of the hot air gun is too hot. Some PCB boards will bubble if the temperature is too hot. That's why I don't use hot air guns more often. But looks like it is properly soldered. and the circuit is intact despite the bubbling of the PCB board.
Let's try it if still working. The drain voltage is 5 volts now. And seems working now. A few moments later. The TV now is working great. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy and learn something from this video. You can help this channel with your likes and subscriptions. You can also ring the notification bell to keep you updated. Once again I'm Teps. See you again next time. Bye for now.